you saw at the beginning of this video, in that little, very beginning of the B-roll segment, is what's called a digital slate. And in filmmaking terms, they are awesome. And I'll explain why over the next few minutes. So this one is the digital slate, quite obviously, because it's on an iPad, and this one is the physical slate. So there are a few differences between them, uh, but I'm going to go with the basic rundown of what they both contain. Name of production. Name of production. Uh, roll, scene, and take. It's got roll, scene, and take along here, as well as slate number, which this one doesn't have. It, it's not really needed in my opinion, but it's quite nice because it tells you how many shots you've actually filmed because the slate number clicks up for every shot you've done. Direct camera, direct camera, the date, date, uh, all the stuff like if it's inside, outside, day, night, it's all on here as well. And this big number along the middle, you can see, is currently set to the actual time at when I'm filming this, but it is time code. And so you could link that up with all sorts of other stuff, which you can't with this one. As for like the noise they make, this one has a nice three pips, which I quite like. And then shows you the time code and a red screen to allow you to mark it properly and hold the time code for four seconds so someone else can write it down if needed. And then once the take is done, I hit end shot and when I press it, the numbers click up automatically. This one, no such luck, you've got to write it in yourself, but it does make the classic clapperboard sound. Not that's necessary, but a sound marker is important. They do the same job. So why would you pick one over the other? This one writes my reports for me. The downside is obviously I've got to keep this charged and make sure this is always running and all of that. But I always have a backup. The traditional old-fashioned slate. 